Hello again and welcome to the channel. We're doing another episode of our Clefairy run today. We are playing the Clefairy only, metronome only playthrough. If you uh, want to see the beginning of this and see how this all started, I'll put a card here to episode one. But otherwise, it's pretty simple. We can only use Clefairy in battle. We can only use metronome in battle. We can use our HM users just to get, use the field moves to get through the game. But that's it. They cannot actually be helpful for us to actually win anything. Um, we are in Lavender Town now, so we did get past the first three gyms so far. We're going to be headed over to Celadon City today, and we'll see if we can get to Erica. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I'll just go ahead and start walking and get moving. Um, I think we're all healed up and good to go. I'm going to save before we start this route, just in case. But uh, yeah, so I do have all the teams randomized now. I passed this through the randomizer an extra time, and that's just to, uh, you know, Mix it up a little bit, make it even a little bit more different than Pokemon Red. I felt like it was a little similar, you know, it, uh, with how the teams were set up, just because I didn't I didn't change them that much. So I passed it through again just to really make it really crazy. And okay, we got a plus one to attack. A flash. We're like really getting set up on this cube one that we can just knock out, huh? Oh, and then Haze, wonderful. And then Whirlwind. Gen 1 has some interesting moves, doesn't it? Haze that removes the enemy status, and then Whirlwind that does nothing in battle. Smokescreen? Very rare for Gen 1. Not a lot of Pokemon actually get. Okay. So I lost some attack. Clamp! Okay. So I have one more Metronome to beat Shelter. Okay. Spore? Not terrible. Oh, he has a lot of defense, though. We're just going to have to struggle through this. You know what? Sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle, but we got it. All right. So let's go back and heal up. There's probably going to be a lot of that today, but we're almost to the point that we can get some PP ups. Some nice PP ups. Increase that size of that PP. And then we can actually have enough uses to get through. Actually, nailed that. I was kind of wanting to go up to the next spot to make that safer. Okay. So there is a hidden item here in the, in the tunnel, in an elixir. And then if you go up a little bit and then over... There's a nugget as well. Just a little random tidbit there. Okay. So we got a couple of items. We're going to go and heal here. Because once we get out of the rocket hideout, we're going to want to be able to just dig out. Because you can actually dig out of a lot of the buildings in Pokemon. Especially in this, uh, in Pokemon Red version. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go into the rocket hideout. We're going to fight this guy. I'm going to save up before we do. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to use Metronome against this Nidorino. We'll see what we get. Flash. I feel like we've gotten Flash quite a few times. That's kind of interesting. Dragon Rage. Not that bad. And then... Oh, okay. Some set damage moves. That works. That works. Okay. Sharpen. Nice. Okay. Counter. Really not useful. I, I mentioned this last uh, episode, but Counter actually only works against normal and fighting type moves in Generation 1. Oh, well, there's the explosion. The upgrade. The upgrade to self-destruct. Fortunately, uh, not useful either since that makes us lose. We can only use Clefairy, so if it faints, we even if we take out the enemy Pokemon, we lose. Let's do this again. Alright, so Nidorino, we're gonna double kick. Okay. Not great. Not a great start. Swift! Very good. Okay. Get a level up. Oh, Ice Punch against Spearow? Solid. So good. Okay. Nice. We can open up the hideout here. We're going to grab a bunch of things here in the hideout because uh, the fairy just probably needs as much help as it can get. First thing is that PP up at the beginning. Then you take these spinny tiles over here and then we can go grab a nugget. And then I can actually grab this TM here just to sell it. TM7, which I believe is Horn Drill? Uh, I do believe. And then down here... Ooh, okay, how are we doing, actually? Let's save up. Down here, there's going to be another couple of items, including a nugget, so we're going to want that. Oh, Meowth, look at that. Oh, I flinched, okay. That's actually pretty rare. In Gen 1, Bite only has like a 10% chance to flinch. Um, wow, we are just like... a mess here. Okay, rocks. Oh, I thought it was going to knock it out. Oh, rolling kick, okay. That works. Okay, Voltorb. Oh, Comet Punch is good. Okay. Okay, we got that. We got that. And he's the last trainer that we're going to have to fight in here. So we're okay. We are okay. 
So we got that, we got the nugget. Alright, let's go back. We're gonna go over and get a couple more things here in the uh, bottom floor. Just remember my pathing real quick. Talking and playing at the same time is not as easy as you'd think. Okay. Alright. I have a hard enough time talking as it is. Oh, I'm out of items though. So we're probably just gonna have to leave that one. Which is a shame. But, you know, I think we're just gonna have to leave it. Okay. And then we can dig out, and that will take us back to the Pokemon Center. Let's heal up again, since we are pretty bruised from that rocket hideout. We're gonna get, go get some vitamins. Some protein. Okay, we're gonna sell some of our stuff here, because we can't use any of the TMs. So we can just get rid of these. We can sell our nugget for a bunch of money. We can... let's see what else we got here that we can sell. Um, we can sell that, which is so sad. Thunderbolt would have been so good. Um, we can sell Horn Drill. We can sell Takedown, or what is this one? This one is Double Edge. This one is Double Edge. Okay. There we go. And then we can sell the HP up. So this is maybe a little bit weird, but actually it's better to buy other vitamins instead of the HP up because you'll actually increase your defenses or your damage output way faster than you'll increase... Like, the, the helpfulness of how much HP you have. Only certain situations do you need the extra couple of HP. Um, if I find one later, I, I believe there's one in Pokemon Tower I usually pick up. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, at this point, would rather have some extra vitamins for more damage. Rather than just a couple of extra HP. Excuse me! Oh my gosh. That little NPC randomly just sometimes paths up there and then just hangs out. Um, we're going to buy a Pokey to all. That's just to uh, do the Arrowax skip. I typically do this. It just makes the playthroughs that much faster. Um, do we want to buy... I'm, I'm thinking now. Are we going to be able to afford if we buy... Yes, okay. So I can get one more vitamin if I get all of these which I need to get one of these anyway. So I'll come and buy all of the drinks, then give this girl all of the drinks, and she'll give us three different TMs. We can't use them, but we can sell them, and they'll actually be useful for the money. And then we can actually uh, have what we need. And we're going to buy one more fresh water. That's for the guard at the uh, front of Saffron. So he's going to be helpful to uh, get out of the way now as well. So now uh, we need actually need one more thing. Quick math. I need one more thing to sell. And he'll give us a TM that we can sell. Okay. So we're going to sell. This is so sad, but we got to sell Ice Beam. We have to sell... I believe this one is Tri-Attack. Oh no, that one is um, Rock, Rock Slide. And this one is Tri-Attack. And that. Oh no, but with the, the stuff we bought... Oh, that is so sad. Okay, um... Shoot, we're so close. You know what? If we sell the super potion, is it going to be... Oh, it's not enough either. Oh, man. This is pain. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to sell a max potion. We're going to get more of those later. I think it's worth it. Okay. So, as far as this, what we're, I think we're going to want to do is prob we're probably going to want some proteins... And some calciums because we're going to have mixed damage. Um, and I'll grab a Carbos just to have a little bit more speed. You know, because speed can be useful. We're going to be leveling pretty fast, so I think that we'll be over leveled pretty soon. But we can use these up. And the bottom left there of the screen, you can actually see how many vitamins we can use. Um, shout out to Scott's Thoughts again for making this overlay. It's fantastic. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we have everything we need now. We are all set up. All of our shopping is done. We, you know, Some people may come back here in the run like later because you'll have more money, obviously, and that kind of thing. But honestly, not really worth it in a lot of the speedruns I do, so I'm probably not going to do it today. Got Fly, though. That's really useful. Since we beat Surge, we can just go ahead and start using that immediately. We can just head back. Okay. And usually what I do here as well is I'll just run over here and open up Saffron. And then we can fly here later as well. So that should 
Open that up. Yep. Okay. Now uh, we have two options. We could go to Erica. We could go to the Pokemon Tower. I think the right choice is the Pokemon Tower. Um, the definitely right choice is to go ahead and use some PP ups because we really need that. Okay. And then we can try the rival. Let's go ahead and go and save. We're level 32, which is good here. I feel like we'll be fine. We have more use. Oops, we have more uses in metronome. Let's go ahead and get it. Okay, self-destruct. Not the worst. Didn't do a ton of damage. Thundershock isn't bad. Okay. Oh, interesting. I got the badge boost and then immediately got uh, reflect. That was actually kind of helpful. Okay. So you have a Vulpix and a Ninetales. That's fascinating. Okay. Attack was really good. Potion. Double team isn't bad. We're still kind of early, so that's fine. Come on. Body slam. Solid. Okay. We we really got... Uh, oh, no. We leveled up, so we lost all the badge boost. Oh, man. Okay. So now we're just real uh, not defensive, but not too bad. Okay. Our special is decent, though, so that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Oh! She missed. Oh, sledge. Okay. That works. That works. Okay. Almost done. We got three more. We can do this. He has a hit much on his ace. That's cool. Okay, we got Pedal Dance. We just uh, did exactly what we just saw from the Vile Bloom. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. I feel like that was actually pretty solid. Um, let's go ahead and go back and heal. Just to get our PP back, since we're so close to the Pokemon Center. Then we can probably finish up Pokemon Tower right now, too. I'm just curious what the uh, Chandlers are going to have today. Because they're not going to have Ghastly, since it's randomized. We will... Use our... i got to reorder this a little bit. Give me a sec. Let's see. We'll move our, our Super Repels, our Super Potion, our Full Restore. Don't mind me. Just uh, organizing, cleaning up here. Here we go. All right. We're going to dodge as many of these Chandlers as we can. I'm going to save before this required one. Let's see what she has. Hitmonlee. Okay. All right. That's a real big change. That hurts badly. That hurts really badly. Ice grip works. Okay. I don't like coughing. Okay. Ooh, miss. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, that was just enough. Oh, that was amazing. That was actually so close. Wow. Okay. We got it. We got it. Okay. We got an elixir as well. We got. This is the HP up I was mentioning. Um, since we're not going to go back and buy any more vitamins, I'll just go ahead and use it. Some people skip that because, you know, it's just an extra couple of seconds. I find that, you know, maybe it's just superstition, but if I don't do it, maybe I could have just survived on, like, one HP. You never know, you know? I always like to give the extra possibility that we survive, since it's right there. Maybe is pretty easy, though, right? Yeah, come on. I have an Eevee playthrough on my channel that you can check out, uh, where I did a speed run, like a solo run of Eevee, and it was much more thought out than this, but I also did struggle in Pokemon Tower, so go check that out. Uh, it doesn't have any attacking moves besides normal type moves, which really made it an interesting run. Okay, go. Let's see what she has. A drowsy! Okay, Drowsy is actually pretty strong. Pounder is useless. Oh, Hyper Beam! Huge hit. Okay. Nice. So we're going to use our Poke Doll, and that gets us through there. Okay, nice. Oh dear, okay, I'm probably going to need to use um, not just a Super Potion, but probably an Ether as well. Let's just save, and we'll try to get, the, get rid of these guys real quick. Okay, come on. Tackle's not bad. Spike Cannon's good. Screech is not that helpful. Okay, Twin Needle. Okay. Oh, Blastoise. That's actually really scary. Oh, Bone Club did nothing. Uh, that missed. Okay. I feel like this is a loss. I don't know if I'm going to have enough HP. Oh! Oh! Just barely. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Get out of here. Man, that felt actually really cool. I use my full restore just because we were very dead. Okay, so now we have that. Let's see here. 
Do I have something? I have a max ether. Let's go ahead and use the max ether. That will get us ready for that. Let's save that again, because that guy was actually scary with a Blastoise. Jeez. That was nuts. Okay. Conversion. Interesting. <laughs> Using Thundershock back at him. Razor Leaf. Come on. Ooh. Um, I'm interested. This should hopefully override our, our metronome. I, Gen 1, you never know, though. You never know. Things get weird sometimes in Gen 1. Sonic Boom seems like the best choice. Oh, no! Thundershock would have been his all good. Okay. Well, we still got through it. Alright, we're back to having metronome. Nice. Okay. Let's save. I think that we should still have enough to get through this guy. I'm just going to use a super potion, though. Just to top off. Oh, he has a lot, actually. He has a lot of Pokemon. Okay. Takedown's not bad. Takedown's not bad. Okay. Oh, Guillotine. One hit KO. Nice. Oh, did it, I, got the, I got High Jump Kick against the Hitmonlee. What are the chances of that? Wow. Okay, so now I have to use Struggle. Can we get through it without fainting? Okay, nice. That was all he had. Okay. So we can talk to Mr. Fuji. Go get that special Pokey Flute. Nice, okay. There we go. Alright. Let's go heal up. And while I do that, I will say uh, thank you so much for watching the video. We'll probably cut it off here. Next up is going to be the Celadon Gym with Erica. It's going to be the bike route. Saffron City in the Sylph Company. That's what it's called. Um, that kind of thing. So... Now that we are to this point, we're, I think, about halfway through. But, you know, with Metronome, who knows? So make sure to like and subscribe so you can keep up to date on this uh, series. Uh, if you have any comments, any suggestions, anything you would like to see, make sure to put that in the comments. Uh, let me know about any future uh, different challenges or playthroughs you'd like to see. I'd love to hear it. Have a wonderful day.